Hi, this is Diane from Wire Jewelry Creations. Hey, I just want to do a quick video to show you how to make a basic earring pair. Now, this is the simplest pair of earrings from a set of the uh, enamel components that I make. Uh, this is just one that was laying on my workbench and looked like a nice canvas to begin. So, um, let's start. I'll show you a few of the tools that you're going to need. Um, these are round nose pliers. Um, well, because they have a round nose, they're tapered. They're uh, small at the very tip and they get bigger as they go down. Uh, the next one is a flat nose pair of pliers. These are good for grabbing wire or making nice tight bends. They're called flat nose because the inside part here is flat. So that's the flat nose. Um, this is a pair of flush cutters. Uh, they're called flush cutters because they have a flat edge here. Um, if you could, uh, let's see if I can, okay, point them that way. You can see how they're V-shaped on one side and flat on the other. This is the flat side. So they're going to cut your wire, but they're going to leave a, a pinched side on one part and a flat side on the other. So you want to pay attention to which way you're using those and, you know, to see which end turns up flat. Okay. This is another pair of flush cutters, but they are heavy duty, so I use those for heavier wire that might damage my other pliers. Uh, let's see. This is a hammer. It's a planishing hammer. It has a nice rounded surface here. It's not like your hardware hammer that your husband has out in the garage. Um, the nice part about the rounded surface is as you're hitting wire, it doesn't leave an edge mark. Um, your, your flathead hammers like are out in the garage. When you hit the wire, it's going to flatten and leave a dent at the edge. This is this is kind of tapered, so it doesn't leave that dent. Okay, so let's get started. We have this uh, pair of enamel uh, ear pair. We're just going to uh, put on a pair of ear wires and call it done for the very simplest thing. And then I'll show you how to embellish that a little bit. So, um, first thing. We have a little jump ring here, if you can see that. I'll show you how to open a jump ring. You're going to grab one side of the opening with a pair of flat nose pliers. Then you're going to grab the other side with a pair of flat nose pliers. And you're going to... Ooh, I can't see if it's in the camera right. You're just going to twist a little bit to open that up. You don't make the circle bigger. I'll show you with my hand. Okay, so here's the jump ring. Okay, and where my thumb is, that's the little split. So you're going to, you don't want to do this. You don't want to make that circle bigger. That'll weaken the wire. What you want to do is twist, twist it apart like that. Okay, so okay. we've opened the jump ring. And I've just got that. I'm holding it on, to, holding on to it with the flat nose pliers. Just going to slip that enamel component on there. Next I'm going to add the ear wire and slip that on there. Then I'm going to grab the other side with another pair of flat nose pliers and I'm just going to twist back the opposite direction to close up that ring. See if you can see that in the camera. It's closed again. So that is the simplest earring you can make. Now I'm going to do some upgrades. See if you want to mix it up a little bit. What I want to add is a wire embellishment to that. Um, so what I have here is 20 gauge wire. It's a nice easy gauge to twist. I'm going to grab the very tip top of it with the very edge of my round nose plier. You see how there's no wire sticking up above the plier. It's just grabbing right at the very edge. Now I am twisting my wrist back. Whoops, dropped it. Got to pinch real tight. Twisting back and I'm making a coil. So just twisting, twisting. The 
you see that coil there now I get over and I've gone around and made a let's see that's kind of one time around I'm going to grab it with my round nose pliers and turn back the opposite direction and I'm going to grab here and turn back the opposite direction I'm going to do that a few times turning kind of making it shorter each turn. It's not going out as far. Okay, let's see how well this fits on the component. Let's see. I want that to slay on there like that. So I think that's probably pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to grab here and I'm going to wrap it around, make a loop, just like that. Now this is where I want to come in with my, my flat nose pliers and just cut that extra wire off, just like that. So that's my little shape right there and I'm going to put that on my bench block. Oops, let me see if I can show you that. So this is my bench block, and I put my wire piece on there. Sorry, you can't see it very well. So there it is. I'm going to pound that with the, the planishing hammer. Oops, it fell off onto my workbench. May never be found again. All right. So I've got my planishing hammer, and I'm just hitting that on the workbench. Let's see if I can move this down so you can see. Just flattening that out. This is going to work harden the wire and make it so it'll retain its shape. But I just like the look that that gives you. Um, let's see if you can see it. It flattens it out. It makes it, uh, you know, sp well, it makes it sparkle. It makes it real shiny. Okay, so now to get that on the piece, what well, I have this little loop at the top that it's going to hang from. I grab that little loop, and again, I'm not making the loop bigger. I'm just twisting upward to open that up. Let's see if I can turn that. See how it's, it's whoops, is it going to focus on that? Probably not. It's lifted up here a little bit. The circle hasn't gotten bigger. It's just twisted. Okay, so... Now I'm going to put that on the earring we have. There it is. And I slip that on there. I guess I didn't open it quite enough. Okay. Now I'm going to use my flat nose pliers again to close that little circle back up again. Now, whoops, let's see. That's the earring we have. So it's got a nice wire embellishment on there. It's kind of stepped it up a little bit. I like to think of these components as a little canvas to put your artwork on the front there. You know, it's kind of fun. So we have an earring. Once one part that's done, now you just got to do another one just like that, make it match. And let's see. If you want to step it up a little, you can switch out the ear wire and make a custom ear wire for that. But 